First, we prepare a piece of pumpkin, two eggs. Put the eggs aside for later use. Let's deal with the pumpkin first. Peel off the skin of the pumpkin first. After the pumpkin is peeled, we cut it in half. Then use a spoon to remove the flesh in the middle. After removing the gear, cut it into thin slices. Cut as thin as possible. This saves cooking time. Cut it and put it on the plate. And sort it out. Then put it in the steamer. Cover and steam for 15 minutes. Since the pumpkin is cut thinner, it can be steamed in 15 minutes. Time is up. Let's open the lid and take a look at the pumpkin. Gently rub it with chopsticks. If it can be rubbed through, it means that the pumpkin is steamed. Then take it out with a clip. Pour it into a large bowl. Press the pumpkin into a puree with a fork. Try to press it as delicate as possible. It's better. The degree of pressing into a line is enough. Let the pumpkin puree dry until warm. Then we crack two eggs into it. Then add another three grams of yeast powder. Add an appropriate amount of white sugar to it. If you like sweeter food, you can add more. Stir well first. Be sure to cool before adding yeast. Otherwise, it will make the yeast inactive if it is too hot. Then you won't be able to send it. Stir until the yeast has melted. We prepare another 300 grams of plain flour. Stir while adding. Add the flour in small amounts and many times. This makes it easier to grasp the consistency of the flour. Just stir it into a dryer flocculent like this. Then knead it into dough. Finally, knead it into a smooth and moderately soft dough. Then cover with plastic wrap and let it rise in a warm place for 40 minutes. When the time is up, let's take a look. Wake up until you rub it down with your hands and don't bounce back. Now we take it out, we knead it on the chopping board, we exhaust it. A knead as much as possible. This will build gluten. It tastes better. After kneading for five or six minutes, we will organize the dough again. And then we roll it into strips. Knead into long strips like this. Then cut into equal sized small noodles. Just cut the dough slightly larger than the usual dumplings. Sprinkle some dry flour to prevent sticking. Then tidy up the dough one by one. Then click. Roll it out for him with a rolling pin. Just roll it out to about the size of dumpling skin, thick in the middle like this. Just a small piece of dough that is thin around will do. Then we put five to six rolled sheets as a group, piece by piece stacked up like this. All folded. Press it down from the middle with a chopstick. Press a mark. Don't break it. Then we'll take another small lotion and you roll it into strips. Like this, it can be used as a flower heart. Place on top of the first sheet, then roll it up from here. Just like this. And now we're going to use a knife to cut through this. This way, the shapes of two flowers come out. Just tidy it up and it will be very beautiful. 
so we're going to do all the roses at once. When it's all done, we prepare a pan, brush a little cooking oil in it. Every edge and corner must be brushed, then put in the finished roses one by one. Cover the pot and wake up for 10 minutes for the second time. This time we add a spoonful of dried starch to the bowl. Then add water to melt the starch. Make starch water like this for later use. Now let's open the lid and take a look again. It has woken up to two times its size. Just become chubby like this. Now turn on low heat and fry slowly. Fry for about five minutes. We will use a spoon to add starch water to the edge of the pot. The bottom of the pot is not easy to paste. Making videos is not easy. Your every message and every like are the driving force for me to move forward. If you think my video is helpful to you, please give me a like. Thank you very much for your support. The gap in the middle should also be closed. Go in a little... Close the lid again. Slowly fry on minimum heat. Boil the starch water dry. Pay attention to the heat during the period. If the fire is too big and the bottom is mushy, it's all in vain. You have to keep turning the pot. Let it heat evenly. The starch water has been baked dry. Look, it's beautiful. It's soft and elastic. Like this, the roses are ripe. It's ready to go. Then cover it with a flat plate. We flipped it out of the pan with the help of plates. Take a look at the golden burnt fragrance at the bottom. It looks very appetizing. The buns made with pumpkin are super beautiful. Golden color. After two ferments, good absorption and easy digestion. Absolutely healthy food for all ages. Break it apart and see if it still feels like drawing. I didn't expect to be able to make buns out of a pan. Pumpkin buns made this way. Burnt and crispy at the bottom, and the side of the flower is sweet and fluffy. It tastes great. The more you chew, the better it smells. The tissue pores inside are even strong pumpkin aroma. It's absolutely delicious. If you like it, keep it and try it. If you like my video, remember to like it and follow the forwarding. Click on my avatar to see more food videos. I post a different video every day.